Everybody's used to this prickly pear picture of the novel coronavirus, but that's just the skin of the virus itself. Inside of that prickly pear is the instructions for creating more of the same virus. And the way that it does that is to hijack uh, human cells into convincing them to read those instructions and act on those instructions and produce more virus, which we want to stop from happening. Figuring out how to interfere in those processes, that is our goal. If we know what something looks like, we know how it works. The idea is that if we know at an atomic level what these important biological proteins look like, we can understand their function. And so what we do is we find these proteins of interest and we purify them so that we can make a three-dimensional lattice out of them, which is a crystal, and then we probe them with the x-rays and model their structures from that. We're basically uh, an instrument that help people to look at their structure. And the thing that we're getting is not only an image, but we're getting a model, a 3D model. And then from those details, we can look at what is critical from the protein to make the function, basically, that would do the biological function. So, so then we can know exactly where to put some kind of inhibitors bound to the proteins. A large part of what we're discovering is that Many of the pieces are very dynamic. Their assemblies, how the machinery puts together, it's not just one solid block. It comes apart and gets put together very dynamically. I think we're characterizing that aspect of the pieces. I went into science to try to solve these kinds of problems. That is the whole inspiration from when I was a child all the way up. To add what I can do, what I've developed here over the course of the last 10, 15 years to the fight against this disease. When you go into biology, you want to promote science and understanding at a basic level, but ultimately you hope that you can help society at large. And being able to be a part of this has been extremely gratifying. It's one of the, you know, one, one of the most gratifying things I've done in my career so far. I know with protein crystallography that we could have an impact on, the, on human health, uh, but I've never been so close to see that impact and for me it's like a, a step in my career that I uh, that I enjoy basically being so close to see the direct uh, impact of this facility uh, on human health. So.